All right. Are you kidding me? Is the boss a giant fucking Wally Wog? Sorry. <clears throat> Wally Hop. Oh no. What's up, Buttercups? This is a friendly reminder that this is my first and mostly blind playthrough of Pikmin 4. Please refrain from posting spoilers on upcoming areas, features, characters, or plot points that I haven't experienced yet. However, if you have any tips, tricks, or advice to share, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'm more than happy to learn. With all that said, sit back, grab a snack, and let's get back to Pikmin 4. Thank you! Oh! <laughs> I forgot that that's the last point that I autosaved. Just coming out of my noodling around in the Burrow of Beginnings. What's up, Buttercups? My name is Scaletree, and welcome to the first episode of my Pikmin 4 Let's Play, as well as my 1,000 subscriber special! Woohoo! Yeah! Um, the results are in for the poll. I'm going to put it up now on screen just so that you have a visual. I decided to go with a longer episode today, so thank you very much for those of you who polled. However, because there was such an even split on who wanted to see Night Missions first versus Serene Shores, I thought I would do something a little bit fun and interesting. You know, just to keep things spicy. So, without further ado, I am going to cut to editing Scale Tree so that she can show you the ropes. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a segment I like to call Wheel of What's Next! Woohoo! Yeah! Woo! Live studio audience sounds! Yeah! Woohoo! <laughs> okay, in all seriousness, uh, between the days, I'm going to give this little wheel a spin, spin, spin. I hope to do two night missions, two overworld visits to Serene Shores, and one Shores Pipe. I don't know if I want it to be a Dandori challenge or a cave. It will really depend on what we find. So, without further ado, let's spin for our first day. Wheel of what's next, spin, spin, spin. Where is the place that we could win? Serene Shores. All right, looks like we're gonna get started at a sunny little spot today. Back to gaming scale tree. All right. It looks like our first stop of today is going to be Serene Shores. I cannot express how excited I am to visit this new area. I've been dying to get back to playing Pikmin 4 and... Oh my god. This, this is going to be so good. I can't wait. Let's go, Colin. We'll need some kind of medicine to cure the leaflings, right? Thankfully, Yanni is experienced with these sort of things. I know. I know. We're going to get to night missions, but the wheel has spoken. So, I am ready to explore. Which area would you like to explore? Well, today, we're gonna go to Serene Shores for the first time. Oh man. Am I ready? <sighs> Fuck it, we ball. Oh, this is going to be so cool. I can't wait. You have no idea how hyped I am. I've been desperate to get back to playing this game. <sighs> All right. Show me the overview. I see Skeeter Skates, Pearly Clamp Clamp, Nuggets, Pellet Posey. Aha! Uh -huh. Whip Tongue Bulbor. Oh my god, the flowers are beautiful. The water! So, blue Pikmin for sure. Oh man. Guys, this game is gorgeous. This game is so gorgeous. <sighs> Alright, well... I'm gonna just go auto for a little bit. Looks like we're missing a type of Pikmin that we need for this area, so I'm guessing we're gonna find it in a cave somewhere, in theory. 
It's imperative to get a lay of the land. You betcha. Scope things out with your survey drone. I could. But I usually like just... T oh. Oh my god. I was just gonna say, I usually like taking a look at the map purse. This... This place is huge! Oh man. I think I may need to start using those pins. I, I haven't done it before because the previous two maps I think were of a... A fairly small size, especially compared to this. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Well, no time to dilly-dally. We've got some... materials in the water that we may as well grab while we're here. Okay. Yeah. Blossoming dunes. Alright. <gasps> Wait a minute. Oh, that's really close! <laughs> you see that over there? As I do. Um. Hmm. Hang on. How many... Okay, it takes 40 to freeze. Duly noted. I'm not Dandorian very hard, because, uh... Admittedly, this is the... Oh, yeah, and... Right, right. I fixed up my camera in case you didn't see. Um... Guys. Can I just take a second to say how truly gorgeous this game is? I'm really sorry. I'm gonna be gushing about this because it's just beautiful. The palm trees, the way they touch the sky, I mean... Okay. Let's get a slightly more appropriate quantity of Pikmin here. Because I think freezing this lake is going to help with the Skeeterscape, right? Yeah. Oh, they die in- Oh, they die in one hit! Well, that's really useful. Oh, really? Well, that sure was a fail, huh? Destroy this- this is it just stuck in the water? Can I- <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we're not worrying about that right now. I'll go ahead and let you guys work on that while I recover from the indignity. I've got one idle Pikmin. Okay. Yeah, sorry, this is- this- this first day is probably gonna be me just getting back into the swing of things. Oh! Oh, Chi! Alright, so the dumples unfreeze. Understood. And I guess that's just gonna take another moment. I mean, I could go on Ochi to get across the stream. Guys, I'm so excited to be here. I'm so excited to be doing this special. I just... I just can't wait to get going. I think... I mean, you guys saw on the wheel, right, that I had a little... Hey, you know... Oh, thanks, guys! A little note that I wanted to do at least one pipe while I was here on one of the days. Well... That's a nice, convenient one. I'm gonna save that cutscene for later. And I know I'm not being, like, a Dandori queen right now, but... I just... I just have to appreciate how beautiful this game is. How lucky I am to be playing it like this for you guys. And... <laughs> and how efficient 60 Pikmin are at breaking down a wall. No, just kidding. Um, it's just truly an honor to be able to do this and to explore this game with you to sort of to, to get a better understanding of where everything is and how it works I love I always thought of gaming as like a communal activity you know like I would play it with my brother I would play games with my brother a lot growing up and 
it means a lot to be able to share that experience with others. Just in general, like... Oh! Gotta love accidentally running into treasure. Um... I think it's a magical thing to be able to share one's experience, one's enjoyment. I view it in a similar vein to, like, probably the way some other people view sports, for instance. Oh boy. I mean, alright, that wasn't very clean. <laughs> I have yet to master the art of just balancing game commentary with with actually focusing on a game. If you guys watch Chugga Conroy, which I bet many of you have, I mean, some of his reactions to things that happened in Pikmin's, in his Pikmin 1 and 2 Let's Play are iconic. <laughs> My personal favorite is the Water Wraith clip. Like, I don't think it gets much better than that, personally. But... Uh, he always mentions the Let's Play curse, at least from what I remember of his gameplay. And, uh, yeah, no, I, I get it now. <laughs> I'm not really paying as much attention to the actual gameplay as I am talking. That's okay, though. This is interesting. Kip Kip arrived at- Did I just use Go Here? I didn't mean to. I thought I was in command of my character. 80 Pikmin?! Oh boy. All right, well, I guess we're taking the, uh, the Ochi boat over here. Because that watermelon looks very promising. Wow, Ice Pikmin are such weak attackers. I mean, I think it's for the best that they are, for sure. A hundred. Is there no way to get this watermelon on the first trip to the Serene Shores? This is a... I, I'm gonna call it a front seat question. Like, I would love an answer, but I don't want to know how. Like, I'd want to be able to figure it out when I come back here. Oh. Armored cannon beetle larva? Oh boy. Oh! Oh, shit! <laughs> Alright, well, this thing has a, tr a, a treasure in it. Okay. <gasps> Wait. What's happening? Oh, wow. oh! Excuse me? Did the water just... The tide appears to ebb in the afternoon. That ought to make it a lot easier to explore now. Guys. Oh. My god? Wait, wait. So you're telling me that... This area has an area-specific gimmick for tides? Guys. Guys, I have the biggest smile on my face right now. <laughs> That's so cool! That's unreal how cool that is! What? I don't think there's been an area gimmick like that in previous games, has there? If so, I don't remember it. And uh, I haven't played Hey Pikmin, so I don't know if it has any area gimmicks. But like... Oh my god. Guys, I'm so excited. That's extremely cool. I'm going back down there. Ba basically, the instant I can. So first, let me take care of this oddly small peckish aristocrab. Yeah. Uh, get get bent. Um. Ooh. 
Yeah, I don't like the frequency of those boulders. I think riding Ochi is the safest way to transport my Pikmin down here. Go ahead. <laughs> After you, dear boulder. Oh! Oh, or, or, you know, we could do that. Oh, boy. Uh, this is why playing without the camera on is a bad idea. Come on. Oh, boy. Okay. Go! <sighs> As you guys have probably noticed, I'm, uh... <laughs> a firm believer in using Ice Pikmin to freeze enemies. Okay, so that's... 100. Oh! You know what? I bet I can get that once I've super buffed Ochi. I don't think I have him that strong. I can't remember. What did I do for his bite strength so far? Uh, go on, boy. Ten. Yeah. <laughs> I I need to buff up Ochi. I've, I've been prioritizing getting him... What's it called? Better commands. Um, better healing. Oh, dear. I remember you guys. Oh. Good to see little Cromads coming back. And Toady Bloisters! Oh. Well, isn't that just a blast from the past? Do you remember when there was only, like, one of these guys in <laughs> Pikmin 2? Also, why is the auto lock ruining my life right now? Come on, buddies. Just perish! Uh, maybe I need to do blue Pikmin, that'll go faster. Oh boy. I promise I'm... <laughs> Normally a wee bit better, but... Uh, no, no, we don't want that. We want blue Pikmin. Um... But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna blame the Let's Play curse on this, because honestly... I don't know what else it could be. You know what I realized? I didn't even introduce my captain to you guys yet. This is Kip Kip. Her name is a, uh... <laughs> is... I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. It's... No, Ochi. Bad. Her name is literally just Pick Pick backwards. So, when I saw that <laughs> she's from planet Karut, and from what I hear, that's apparently true of all the, um, of all the player character captains, I just about screamed. I thought that was the coolest thing. I was like, no way. I really am the Kip Kip Karut. I don't know, that was just a really funny thing that happened when I started playing. I didn't think it had a place in my, uh... in my thoughts on Pikmin 4 video, but... I'm not gonna pretend like that didn't happen, because that just... that just about... <laughs> made me giddy when I started playing this. Oh! Well, good to know that we're on the other side here. Let's get that shortcut, boys! Woohoo! Potted plant dug up. You know, I wonder... This is gonna sound a little funny. I wonder how many bases are in this area. Because it's so huge. Um, the Sun Speckled Terrace, if I recall correctly, had four. And the blue... I keep calling it Blooming Arcadia. The Blossoming Arcadia had five. So... You know, I really have to wonder... Sorry if I thumped my little desk here. Uh... Yeah. Only one percent? You know what? You know what? I'm not even mad. I believe that. <laughs> Just, again, looking at the sheer size of this place... 
I've heard from several of you that you guys think this game just gets progressively better. Like, bigger, more expansive, more to explore, so much more to see and learn. That's... I, I see exactly what you mean here. I mean, I already kind of saw that from the, uh... The Blossoming Arcadia versus the Sun Speckled Terrace. It already felt bigger and badder and better. This is already shaping up to be even better than that, and I'm just... I'm just beyond impressed. I mean, no game is perfect, and I definitely have my faults with Pikmin 4 so far, but... I, I, I need to emphasize how severely happy I am playing this. Without a shadow of a doubt. All right. I'm gonna take a second to try and go to the, um... I'm pretty sure it's an armored cannon beetle larva shooting those boulders down. I'm gonna go try to kill that and get its treasure before we end this day. And as I go up here, I wanted to pull up my little, uh, list of things to talk about. Oop. Well, maybe I should wait till it's dead. Maybe I should wait till it's dead. You know what? I'm gonna wait till it's dead. <laughs> Uh-oh. This area is clearly not a natural feature. I wonder who could have built it. Hmm. That looks like... Okay, I was gonna say that needs yellow Pikmin, but... Yeah, that's what I thought. Hmm. I don't trust my babes to be able to carry these down without taking care of... Ah, you're the culprit. I see you over there. Don't think you can hide from me. Oh, boy. All right. Come on. Oh, boy. All right, uh, casualties were had. But on the plus side, we killed it really fast. Ugh, I feel really bad. I'm losing a bunch of ice Pikmin. That, that isn't good. I mean, I've got plenty. And if I need to, I know I can farm more in the, uh, sun speckled. Oh my god. Oh boy. I don't want to catch that thing's attention yet. What is that? Is that a regular creature or a mini boss? I can tell its tail is its weak point. Okay. S sorry, I need to like examine. I need to inspect that thing. Wow. Wow, okay. I'm kind of overwhelmed, but in a really good way. Like, <laughs> like I have been all game. Wow. Did you see the pink of those blossoms in the sunset light? Oh, man. I think every Pikmin game is really pretty. Like, even, even when they first came out, when Pikmin's 1 and 2 came out, I thought they were gorgeous on the GameCube, but... I'm glad to see that they've committed to just really having them radiate this gorgeous, natural vibe. Hopefully this commentary was at least somewhat coherent, because wow. Wow. At least we got a couple bits of Sparklium. Today we earned... A couple more chance totems. Sorry if you heard my dog whining in the background. Um, a fishy bed. Aww, that's so cute. And another orbital communication sphere. Okay. So I've got a new thing to check out in the um, treasure hoard. And a new thing to check in the Piclopedia. That's interesting. So you press X and it orders the Pikmin to charge. The charging horn seems like a very useful piece of gear. Yep. 
Ah yes, the power of science is nothing to scoff at. It makes all things possible. See, if you change the frequency, like this, now you can make anyone charge. Oh, yeah. Let me show you. Oh, uh, what's happening? My body! It's like it's moving all by itself! <laughs> Stop! Stop that right now! What do you think you're doing, Russ? Oh. <laughs> I was just showing you how to use it in case of an emergency. I will do everything in my power to make sure that emergency never occurs. <laughs> oh god. You know, that's a great way to introduce new mechanics. I mean, I already know how charge works, obviously. You saw me use it a bunch, but... That's cute. I like these little end-of-day dialogues. They're, they're very adorable. Oh... <laughs> oh, it's been too long since I've seen Ochi do a little zoomy around me. Oh, it's so good to be back. It's so good to be playing this game. Oh my goodness. Well, before we get to the next day, I like to do a little bit of housekeeping, personally. There's new gear, apparently. Uh, I usually click Let's Chat, but they don't normally have new things to say. So for now, for the sake of time, I'm gonna just visit the lab. <laughs> Let's get started. Okay. Air armor for Ochi? That seems like a good idea. He's been <laughs> kind of getting his butt kicked, and I know it's my fault. But wait... Oh. Oh, that's awesome. You know, in Pikmin 2, I really love the Rocket Fist. It, um... <laughs> like, sometimes I would straight up clear, like, sub-levels of their smaller enemies by just punching the hell out of them as Louie or Olimar. Alas, I don't have a good pun for Louie, because, like... <laughs> I, I don't know, I couldn't think of one for his name, but... I just love the rocket punch because it would turn Olimar into Swolimar. <laughs> I'll see myself out. <laughs> um, but next up... Mm, do we have any new Piclopedia entries? Hey, Dalmo! Alright, yeah, we do. Armored Cannon Larva. This little creature will spew a giant stone ball, what some call an Odama, really? When it feels threatened. A reliable cultural document assures me similar items were used as weapons in ancient wars. Maybe this creature is using it in the same way to fight a war for its survival. Gratinus <laughs> Chuculinae. Excellent. And of course we got Skeeter Skates. Clean water is a necessity for this water-walking sweetheart, and a lot of it at that. In water soiled with oils, detergents, or other pollutants, it could lose the surface tension that supports its specially evolved feet and drown. This is an extraordinary creature that could only exist on such a water-rich planet. Uh Oh. We got Aristocrab Offspring. Okay, so this is a juvenile Aristocrab. They didn't just shrink them. Okay, that's good to know. Good to know that there are bigger ones out there. Hmm. You know what I'm wondering? Maybe on the next day that I do um, for Serene Shores for the special, I should bring some rock Pikmin. It looks like the third type of Pikmin we're recommended to bring is currently... Um, what's the word? Unfound. I haven't unlocked them yet. But... If they're ha if, if rock Pikmin are half as useful against Aristocrabs as they were in Pikmin 3, I think that would be a wise decision, so... I'm going to adjust accordingly next time I go to Serene Shores. It pokes its little eyes just a bit out of the sand and stays very still, waiting patiently for us to come by. Even if we know they're hiding there, it's best to act surprised and give them a good shout of alarm. That's the best way to help them feel successful in their endeavors. 
That's so cute. Oh my god. Thalmo, I, I love you. Like, love you, platonic. Hermit Cromad. Here we have one of the cleverest of creatures. It has many different nest holes that all connect underground. Or below ground. Same idea, really. Using this network, it can move from hole to hole to sneak up on prey or evade predators. A smart little darling indeed. Toady Bloister. Cute little marble-like eyes, a smooth, undulating body, a big curvy mouth, a tongue that extends and separates into six parts, gills like fruit from a plant. Sit a moment and take it all in. Sometimes it's fun to simply appreciate how a creature that can do so much damage can still be such an adorable addition to our universe. Yeah, this guy's a man after my own heart. <laughs> Aww. Man, I love animals so much. And we've got one item in the treasure catalog, too, so let's take a peek at that. Hmm, what was it again? I mean, I, I know it's gonna show up as new. Ah, yes, of course, how could I forget? The fishy bed! Which, by the way, okay, I'm gonna observe. I don't normally do this, but... The... Oh, look at the texture on this thing. Like, you can see the little rivulets in the soft side of the sponge versus the coarse end. Honestly, the attention to detail in this game is so remarkable. What do you have to say? It's said that life first came from the sea, so it's no surprise that we are so deeply connected to water. Thus this bed, with its fish-shaped design, is meant to lull one to sleep with visions of floating. Just lay down and let the dreams wash over you. I mean, on one hand I agree with you, but on the other hand I think that's very much dependent on the way you orient this bed. Because I think if you lie down on the side that's currently upright, the scrubby side, I, something tells me that, that that wouldn't be very comfy, you know? Alright, thank you so much, Schnauts. Okay. So, while I go ahead and cut to raise up a couple more blue Pikmin, I'm going to let... I'm gonna let Editing Scale Tree take the lead and spin us on our next wheel of... What's next? Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wheel of What's Next! Hooray! It looks like we've already spent one day in the Serene Shores, and we've got a 50-50 shot of going back, though only a quarter of a shot of doing another full overworld expedition. Let's see if we get a night mission, or if we're going to otherwise shake things up. Here we go! Alright, we are going back to the Serene Shores, but this time we're going to do uh, either a little spelunking or some dandori. Looks like we got a big day ahead of us. Back to gaming scale tree. Hello everybody! Welcome back. Uh, please ignore <laughs> the blue Pikmin staring ominously into the void in the background. Um, that's because I kept throwing it, even though I was trying to talk to Colin. I don't know why, I was like one frame away, so... <laughs> um, looks like it is time to go back to the Serene Shores and do a little bit of Dandori with Nolamar. 1%. Oh my god. I still can't get over the sheer size of this place. But like in a good way, you know? In like... In the way that says that I'm extremely excited to continue. This is gonna take a while, and honestly, I'm here for it. Something tells me this game might have even more content than Pikmin 2, which is saying something because... As of now, I think it's very easily the longest Pikmin game. Um, oh, and by content, I mean, like, main story, like, campaign. 
because obviously I don't know how much they add for Pikmin 3 for its side stories and its extra modes. And honestly, any of the games will have more content than Pikmin 1. Sorry, Pikmin 1. All right. I don't need to bring out Pikmin for this, actually. Yeah, what am I doing? <laughs> Work hard, Ochi, and you'll get a treat. <gasps> oh my god, you know what? That's great. I wanted to do kind of a question of the day, and I was thinking a fun one to get started with was, if you guys could give Ochi any type of treat, assuming that it would be safe for him, and, you know, of a reasonable portion for a space dog his size, what would it be? I think I would give him a peanut butter bone, because peanut butter is my dog's favorite. <laughs> He gets very excited every time I crack open the jar. Anyway. Oh. It's that leafling again. And the figure lying down over there might just be our pilot. Okay. Time for me to talk as Dingo, I think, for the first time. I would like to give my advanced apologies to the entire continent of Australia. Ahem. <clears throat> this is no joke. They could be turned into a leafling. What are you waiting for, newbie? Hurry up and save them. I'm so sorry, everyone. Oh. Dandori Castle. Hmm. Yellow Pikmin. All right, so we're definitely going to be taking advantage of their ability to get food... F uh, food... Well, technically food. Treasures from high places. I see those little latches where you have to weigh them down with Pikmin. Electric gate, but it's very low power. Okay. I might use a little less commentary as I go through this because I feel like I really need to concentrate <laughs> in these Dandori battles. But, you know, let's give it a whirl. Oh boy, Dandori Castle. I have been waiting for you. I now have a new rule that I will use to test you. Oh god. <laughs> uh oh, here we go. I will explain it in time. Let us begin. Wait, you mean you're just gonna thrust a new rule upon me? That's kind of mean. Not gonna lie, bro. Okay, sorry to cut you off, Colin. Oh. Oh, this map's teeny. <laughs> Side note. It's probably pretty quiet. But I really like the sound of this Dandori theme. I think accordions are underrated instruments in general. Anyway, okay. So the gold mine of treasure is over here in the northern part of the map. There's also nuggets and stuff down here. Okay. You're gonna go all out? I bet. Yes, give me more buzz. I need all the sparkies I can get. Um, yeah. You, you take care of that, Ochi. I love you, but you've got more health. Uh, oop. Thank you for interrupting me. <clears throat> this is a mystery capsule. As you now know, Dandori is part luck. This is an item of mystery, so you cannot know what will emerge from its depths. If you use these items, your Dandori will succeed. Pick up many. Use many. Okay, so these are like the cherries from Pikmin 2 Battle Mode. Okay. Fascinating. Um... Oh boy. Uh... Yeah, alright, that didn't go very well. Who? Hello? Oh. 
It's the Aristocrab. I forgot that they do that. Bonus find can help you a lot. I believe you, which is why I'm going to send Ochi over there. Um. Oh boy. This is not going insanely well so far. I think my priority should be getting more Pikmin. Ochi, you can get that. Ochi, come on. Um. On the plus side, at least I've completely decimated Olimar's numbers here. Oh. This is a golden sniffer. Are we getting two new mechanics in this same Dandori battle? Interesting. I'm not sure how I feel about that pacing. It is heavy and its value is high. A rare treasure indeed. If you can collect this, it will carry you closer to victory. Okay. Oh. Um. Get these tiny fleas. Um. Hmm. Oh boy. Oh, Ochi. Are you taking my flea away from me, sir? That's, that's kind of messed up. I need to remember also that I have these little... <laughs> oh, <gasps> spicy spray! Yes, please! Carry all the things, yes. I'm not looking for absolute domination, but I am looking to, uh, you know, crush Olimar as best I can. That's basically total domination, what am I kidding? Alright, come on, boys. You know, I shouldn't- I shouldn't screw with that thing until I have sufficient Pikmin for it. Oh, thank you. Transport as much as you can. Yo, yo- Olimar, thank you for taking care of that. Go! <laughs> you know- uh, I think this is going pretty well. Such Dandori power. <laughs> Such Dandori power indeed. Oh my gosh. What's this? What does it even do? Oh my god. Well. <laughs> oh boy. Well, now I know, huh? <laughs> uh, don't use that unless I'm right in front of Olimar or Moss. Speaking of which, I've got a, um, I've got stuff to talk about in regards to Moss. But we'll get to that in a moment. First... Ah, it's a shame I couldn't get that portable sunset in right at the last second, but... I mean, always good to see Kip Kip take another victory, claim another leafling from the Dandori pile. Again, you have shown mastery in the art of Dandori. I leave the rest to you. Hey, Omas. I don't know if Dandori battles pass time in the overworld, so I guess we're gonna see. If they don't, then... Then I might take some time to try and look for, like, 
a cave to do. Because why not? You know, I want this special to be big and fun and crazy, so... Hmm. Off they go again. Thankfully, we recovered the castaway safe and sound. Impressive victory. All right, let's see. Any time pass up here? Fabulous. Transport the castaway to the SS Beagle ASAP, Kip Kip and Ochi. And, um, right, now I can do my, my little plan. I'm gonna take out some rocks. Let's bring those bad boys back. And... No, it really doesn't look like any time passed. That daytime dial looked suspiciously low. It does look like there's a cave here, though. Hmm, but do I want to take... Okay. There's treasure right here with my name on it. I'm also tempted to engage that beast, but maybe I... I maybe I should wait. That was a very short pipe. <laughs> I, I thought that the Dandori battle might take me a little bit longer, but so far so good. And also, wow, we just skyrocketed to 13%. Okay then. <laughs> cool. I'm gonna try to get into that pipe. Not this second, I'm gonna wait till the castaway's back. But... I think that would be good. Oh boy. No, no. Carry that leafy boy. Or girl. I'm checking the ID info of the leafling you secured. At this point, it's just part of my routine. Yeah, routine disappointment. Nothing, just like the others. All right, let's put our energy into finding and curing these folks. Keep exploring. I will, don't worry. That's, uh, that's on my to-do list. Hmm. Okay, so, also, every time I try to get to this cave, it looks like... It looks like there's no way to hop onto this ledge from just the, the sheer convoluted path, so... I guess I'm gonna take the opportunity to just go up here and try to secure those treasures on my way. Why not, you know? <laughs> I'm probably gonna keep being like, oh, you know, to maximize our Dandori, but the truth of it is, I'm just... <laughs> just because I love Pikmin doesn't mean I'm a great player. I just really enjoy the game. Like, having fun is the most important part for me. Oh. Oh, well. Here I thought I could be a little bit cool, but no. Oh, uh, actually, no, no, no. I want you guys for the, um, the bastards. Ooh. Oh, boy. Oh! Oh, boy. Well, um, I know that they won't die. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks, though. Somebody, somebody just perished. <sighs> yeah, that was... Oh, one of them tried to... One of them tried to kill this fountain, and they did, but... Man, this place is dangerous! <laughs> this is definitely more dangerous. Like, I think... Even... Objectively... Because I know subjectively it's gonna be more dangerous just because... Uh, a, it's new, and... B, it's the third area. Okay. That went the way I wanted the first battle to go. 
but um oh that's a huge pile hmm okay you guys oh no you guys and you guys hey I didn't give you permission to slack get back to it Rocky And in the meantime, I guess we may as well find out what's in here. Maybe more materials? I definitely need some. I want to get Ochi's resistances up. Ah, yeah. Ochi, spit that out. You're, you're better with me than very, very slowly taking a single material to the place. Alright, well... I don't want to miss that treasure. I'm gonna go backtrack and grab it. So while I automatically go there, because, you know, why not? I want to discuss Moss. Uh, the Scarred Sinner asked me for my thoughts, and... Oh, it's a buried treasure. Oh. Uh, hold on. Should I send Ochi? I keep forgetting how to do the buried treasure thing in particular. <gasps> oh! Guys, I'm f <laughs> I'm a fool and a buffoon! It's the watermelon! <laughs> oh no. Sorry for the wild goose chase. Um, well, I guess I'm going back. And, uh, as I do, thoughts on Moss. Sorry for being so sidetracked. This is, this is a lot, but it's a fun a lot. You know, this is the first time I've ever done something like this actively. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm having a lot of fun. Also, sounds like the uh, tides are gonna... Oh, not quite. Not quite yet. Okay, that's fair. Thoughts on moss. I mean, it's definitely among my favorite non-vascular plants. <laughs> They've done a lot for the ecosystem over... No, I'm just kidding. I know you meant Pikmin moss. Moss Pikmin. In all seriousness now, uh, Moss? I don't really know what to think of her so far. She definitely seemed like a good girl when she was helping out Olimar, getting him his stuff. I think she's loyal to him, hence why, you know, I'm jokingly calling that leafling that we just dandoried to hell, um, Nolimar. I'm... I'm very positive it's actually leafling Olimar. I mean, come on, you can see that from space, but... <laughs> I don't know. I think she's just obeying him because, you know, she loves him. He saved her life. I don't think she's evil. I know some people do memes of her being, like, kind of crude or, or mean, like, judgmental, especially. But I don't know. I really like Moss. Moss is cool. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do this cave. Seafloor Resort. What beautiful scenery. When I'm surrounded by water, I can't help but feel one with the sea. Sadly, there aren't many places to land in here, so non-swimming Pikmin aren't able to do much. At least I got to pretend I was on vacation for a little while, right? Hmm. Okay. I see what I think is a jelly float. Some fish enemies that I haven't fought here on the overworld yet. Yeah, th those have to be jelly floats, right? If not the jelly floats from Pikmin 2, then some kind of relative. I see aristocrabs. More fish. Okay. I'm going in. Also, that fanfare never gets old for me. I... God, I love Pikmin music. Just in general. 
one of the tier lists I was thinking of making if I couldn't have gotten um, Pikmin 4 recording to work was a tier list for the songs um, of each of the games. And I would do one tier list per game, and it would be, you know, kind of fun. Okay. Reasonably small sub-level. Guess we're starting off this way. Break that, please. I want my Ice Pikmin to thrive. Without the time pressure, I feel like I do a much better job. <gasps> oh! That's interesting. Okay, so... Does it do damage to flying enemies if I knock them out of the air while they're frozen with Ice Pikmin? Add another point to Ice Pikmin being OP, but I'm not going to complain in the context of this being my first casual playthrough. <gasps> oh, and there's blue Pikmin trapped inside. Oh, very nice. Grow up big and strong, fellas. Let you guys handle some of these. Is it just me also, or is the sound of throwing Pikmin oddly satisfying? Maybe it's just me. Aw. Uh. Aw, uh, you know, I really... I, I didn't mention it in my video, but the mechanic of using one of these little, um... Of using the materials to turn one of these dials to turn off the sprinklers... I thought that was insanely cool. Like, what a great idea. Honestly, materials in general, what a great idea. It's so... I don't even know what to say, it's just so good. Yes! Let's make this place Ice Pikmin friendly. Doodly -doo. I'm gonna do it since the game didn't. Hmm. Ask my pup to sniff out rock Pikmin? What? <laughs> Is that an Ice Pikmin? Those are the- those are two I've discovered but haven't unlocked. Is that a thing? Can you ask Ochi to sniff out places where you can find Pikmin that you don't have onions for? Because if so, that's sick. Oh my. Are there rock Pikmin in this cave that I'm not aware of? Or is that just a general thing that... Hmm. Alright, how do I get that? Oh. What about these fellas? Oh, they're fireies. Hmm. I'm pretty sure Ochi's fireproof. Go on, boy. Oh, nope, he's not. Go, 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 go. I know I'm being a little bit reckless, but that's... That tends to be my Pikmin fighting style anyway, I will admit. Not gonna lie, I'm, uh... Live fast. Die hard. Um... Ah, right. I need to remember that Ice Pikmin can't carry across water. Admittedly... Admittedly, that's pretty new for me. All of this is very new. All of this is very exciting. <laughs> and go on. Go on, guys. You can do it. Way to go, fellas. Oh, and they shortcut right through the water. I know I kind of made a casual remark that, like... Oh, the AI in this game has improved so much. But it really has. Like, 100%, this game's Pikmin AI, I think, is the best it's ever been. Why? Hmm. Do I need to approach it from here? Whoa. 
All right, we found a maternal sculpture. <laughs> I believe that is the the Pikmin 2 name for the baby bottle cap. Wait. Wait a minute. Oh. Is that a stone wall? Hang on. Hmm. Trachinator. That's what that is. That's why... <laughs> oh boy. Alright. Well, I'm glad that I caught on that that was a stone wall. <laughs> I imagine I don't always. So far I would say this dungeon is going really well. Oh, yeah, and I can get them up here. I just... <laughs> I just did a thing. And also, I need to remember, I've got the idler's alert. I swear to god I forgot I had it until just now. <laughs> uh, it's okay, I'm, I'm showing my true colors as a complete disaster. And that's fine, because you guys deserve to know how I play. The, the real scale tree, so to speak. Oh my god. I just noticed that we have a Flarelick in here. Oh, that's wonderful news. I want to get that watermelon. And if I can help it, I want to get it without going to whatever the fourth area is. Because I assume there is one. Like, Olimar, last we saw him before he definitely turned into a leafling. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, before Nolamar mysteriously took his place. <laughs> is, um... Wait. Oh? Thank you, Colin. 85% complete. Hmm. Ochi. Pick up a scent, please. Oh! A castaway, huh? Oh. Bro. Next sub-level. I mean, that's fine and all, but that's not what I want. I was gonna say, it's kind of odd that Ochi picked up a castaway, because I thought that when there's a castaway on a level, he'll immediately, you know, bark and he'll have the little castaway thought bubble. Maybe I need to ask him to try something else. Any other treasure here? Ah, uh, yeah, that's more like it. Onward! <gasps> oh, okay. We've got something to pull up. Oh, that's sick! I haven't seen that animation yet, that's so cool! Wow. This game is amazing. <laughs> I know that, like, definitely at least part of the hype is the fact that this is just the first Pikmin game in 1.7 million years. But... It, it really is incredible to see all of this stuff that's just happening, you know? I really like... Ochi, I really like the upgraded Pikmin AI. I love these areas. None of the characters are, like, insanely intriguing yet so far, but they're all fine. You know, they're all good, and I definitely have questions, especially about Dingo. Like, what's up with him, man? But... Guys, Pikmin is so good. I know I'm preaching to the choir. Almost everybody on my channel is here because of Pikmin, but... I say? Pikmin rules. Oh wait, how many? All right, so this is a four sub-level cave. I think that's, I think that's a good size for today. I am a little bit sad that they don't do the jingle for jumping between floors. I'd, I'd love that personally. Ugh. It's one of the things I really liked about Pikmin too. 
There's a feeling of triumph between floors. Ah! Huh? There must be a castaway nearby. Okay, yeah, yeah. I see. Is that a spout? Oh! Uh-oh. Come on, fellas. I don't want you tangoing with that adult aristocrat yet. <gasps> Hello! Fiery Dweeble friends! Let's get you out of the way, clean you up so that we can get these... I was gonna call them rubber uglies just by habit. I'm pretty sure that the other one we found was a rubber cutie. Which, thank goodness, because... Because I was kind of sad at them calling them ugly. Like, come on. They're, they're, they're rubber ducks. They're shaped like friends. Here's another silly comment. Uh, another silly question for the comment section. What kinds of bath toys did you guys like when you were kids? Did you, did you have any? I didn't really play with rubber ducks, but I had, like, little sailboats and weights that I would go and pretend to dive down for, and it was, it was a lot of fun for, you know, five-year-old me. <laughs> Let's tango with this aristocrab. Oh no. That had the potential to go so much worse than it did. Well, I'm glad that <laughs> rushing recklessly turned out to work that time. I know it's not going to work every time. There are moments where I'm going to have to pause and strategize. And that's okay. I love the fact that this is a real-time strategy game. I just also think it's kind of fun to be a little bit reckless, you know? For the content. And also just because... <laughs> also just because I can be ever so slightly impatient. But, you know, not at the game. Just kind of like... I like seeing things get done and I want them to get done fast! <laughs> All right. We got another blowhog booty to freeze. I sentence you to, uh, explode. Oh. Oh. Um. Yeah. So, bubble machines. That's an interesting little hazard. I gotta wonder, is there a Pikmin type that's resistant to that, you think? I feel like there isn't? I don't know, maybe that's just me. Come to me, friends! Oh, and last friend! <laughs> that little guy went on an epic journey. Don't think I didn't see that. Oh. <clears throat> Hello, big fella. Uh-oh. How do I... Oh boy. Well then. <laughs> that, uh, that could have gone worse. Hmm. Duly noted that when they suck up captains, they hurt them. It was not like that in Pikmin 2. I'm pretty sure it just kind of inconvenienced the captain, if that makes sense. Um, Pikmin are having trouble. Oh. Oh, great. What's up, guy? Oh, boy. It 
It's okay, fellas. Okay, I'll check the ID info. Sheba from Nietzsche, founder of the Aleon Academy's Planetary Science Club. This student was determined to see the stars along with her friends. Uncharted Planet Tourist. Okay. She's cute. <laughs> Judging from the name of the school and club, this has to be one of the students that came with the teacher we read. Oh! Oh, right! Yeah, I rescued a teacher! <laughs> I forgot. Guys, there's so many characters. It's very cool, though. It's nice to see the Pikmin universe get a little more robust, you know? Imagine being stranded like this at such a young age. Poor thing must have been downright terrified. Oh. Oh, yeah, and I was <laughs> fighting that guy, too. Get rid of this stupid thing. And have everybody flower up. Well, as many people as I could. Looks like there's still something we're missing. This place is super filled with treasure. Hmm. I've been asked by the memes for my opinion on all of the Pikmin types. Now, I can only talk about the types I've met. Since I haven't encountered Glow Pikmin yet, my thoughts on them are reserved. But... I don't think- there's- there's no Pikmin type I don't like. I love all of them. Every single one is shaped like a friend. And... They all just make me smile, you know? But in terms of utility, I definitely have, you know, opinions. I guess I'll go in rough order by game. And I might sort of talk about that throughout the video, since it'll depend on what I'm up to. As we go to the next floor, uh, Red Pikmin. Hard to argue with the OGs, I mean, I love the fact that they've got a little extra attack strength. Their fire resistance is especially useful in Pikmin 1. Kinda okay in Pikmin 2. Kinda okay in Pikmin 3. And so far in Pikmin 4, I think they've been... The most useful they've been in a while, in, in, in the areas where I've required them, at least. So, gotta say, you know, Red Pikmin, they're, they're, I'm, I'm warming up to them again. I used to think of them as a little bit subpar in terms of abilities, but it's nice to see them get more utility. Okay, we've got kind of a square shape for this, for this map. Hmm. Okay. Alright, charge once again, proving that it's kind of an overpowered mechanic, but I'm also not complaining. Wow, there's a ton of water to explore here. I mean, I expected that, but... It's especially nice to see it, you know, to be down here with blue Pikmin. That's something I liked about Pikmin 3 quite a bit, was the ability to sort of dive down in with Blue Pikmin, even though I think they were terribly underutilized in the main game. Have you guys seen that, like, one-hour documentary about the redacted extra area that, sh that um, was originally intended to be in Pikmin 3? where the blues were supposed to originally be found and where Louis was supposed to have stolen the juice away to. That documentary is insane. It's so good. And the, the reconstruction done by all of the Pikmin hackers involved was just phenomenal work. <gasps> Once again, the attention to detail just has me speechless. Good speechless, though. The muffled music while you're completely submerged. I'm in love, y'all. <laughs> Don't tell my partner. I'm in love with Pikmin 4. <laughs> no, no, don't, don't, don't worry, hun, if you're watching this. Uh, <laughs> in terms, in terms of non-video games, you, you are, you are my, you are my darling. 
Now the question is, how do I get back? I mean, I guess I could just go back in the way I came, huh? There wasn't really a lot of treasure down here. I suppose it could be worse, but I definitely don't want those bubbles to cause trouble. Even the charge sound is muffled. Oh. This... I, I know I keep saying it. I'm like a f***ing broken record, but... I'm so happy. Like, part of me doesn't even believe this this day came at all. The fact that I am here, playing Pikmin 4, let alone on YouTube for over a thousand people now, is just completely unbelievable to me. It's... it's more than I could have ever asked for. Just... just wow. I could not be more humbled and grateful that I have this opportunity. <sighs> and I also am very scared right now. <laughs> Alright, um, this band, this band everyone, this is a, a blue Pikmin zone. Suffer, fish. Oh my god, and blue Pikmin sprouts underwater? Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. I'm so happy. You, you thought you could hide from me? Yeah, get real. Send a couple of you guys after those mats. Hmm. Let's see, can 20 deal with you reasonably quickly? Yep. Alright, so those enemies are not difficult. I'm, uh, it's, it's good to know. Good to hear that. <gasps> oh, more friends hidden away in the <laughs> aquatic grass here. Wow. Oh. More things. <gasps> oh, yeah! The little, like, martini swords. Oh, that's fabulous. All right, I have everybody. Let's see, let's see here. So I need to build that bridge and then push that button in order to get Ochi across, unless I want to go this way, which I don't, because I'm pretty sure I saw a peckish aristocrab over there and I'm, I'm not feeling it right now, sorry. Um. Goodbye, Ochi. I'll remember you in my next life. Oh. Oh boy. Is that bubble machine gonna make trouble for me? Probably. <laughs> Given how the others have so far. Definitely, actually. Also, still talking about the attention to detail. I really like that you get to see each little individual piece of clay being shaped. That's so good. I just think that's incredible. Oh. You're- you're gonna cause me grief. Oh, oh. No, 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 no. I want your shadow to be over the grass. Okay. That was silly of me. That's okay. A quick freeze, a smash, and you're good. May your juices be used to juice up the next generation. That was pretty morbid, actually. Why did I say that? <laughs> All right, fellas. Let's grab the goods. I'm pretty sure 20 ice Pikmin will still be good for this pink jelly float here. Although after last time, I'm, uh... Mm, no, 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 no. I want to wait till I have all my dudes. And Ochi! Where the fuck are you going? <laughs> what? 
What? Why was that guy just lollygagging with a nugget? That was weird. Uh, uh, have you guys experienced a glitch like that? Because I'm pretty sure that that wasn't intentional. Okay. Oh boy. Yeah, go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. All right. I, I learned from my mistakes. Now, granted, I don't know if I've learned a lot, but I learned something. <laughs> uh, bomb rock time. Adios. Let's grab all the little bits. Very good, very nice. So far, I'd say this cave is going really well. Especially considering, again, this is my first time ever really, like, actively commentating while playing. Especially for this long. Like, this is a lot for me, but it's it's a good a lot. You know? It's an I'm learning a lot. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Yeah, you, you see what I mean? I hate peckish aristocrabs. They're actually the worst, and I hate them. Please die. Oh god. Please! Oh god. That was a fucking disaster. We've lost a lot of brave soldiers today due to my horrible leadership skills. Does anybody else get extremely guilty when Pikmin die? I know I used to get even guiltier back when I was first playing. It's, it's interesting how this game can lead to me thinking like, okay, this is an acceptable number of losses, but I never feel good about it, you know? I think it's just one of the moral questions that comes with playing Pikmin. Those can't be real dentures. I was I, it, I was debating it in my head for like half a second, but I'm like, no, there's there's no way. That can't be it. Hmm. I'll start heading for the thing, but maybe. The, the completion status of this floor does not leave me feeling confident that I got everything. Give me the update, fellas. Oh! No, I, I did get everything. Alright. I think everybody is... Oh, right. Well, clearly not everybody is flowered. I'm assuming there's a boss on the next floor. So I'm going to try to get everybody as flowered as I can. Despite the losses, I think 81 Pikmin is still very reasonable for whatever boss it could be. Whew. Oh, I don't know if I'm ready. But I've got to be ready. For my friends, for my Pikmin, for my viewers, and for Kip Kip. Let's go! <laughs> All right. Are you kidding me? Is the boss a giant f***ing Wallywog? Sorry. <clears throat> Wally Hop. Oh no. I'm going to ignore that for a moment. <laughs> While I obtain a couple more Pikmin. I think having extra ice Pikmin is always the play. 
since I don't have an onion. Come on. Let's pluck the friends. Pluck some... Ow. Sorry if that made a noise. Pluck some buds, even though they're leaves. Um, small side note while I continue to avoid the Wally Hop. Uh, can I just say I really like the fact that Pikmin be are buds a lot more in this game than any of the others? Like, before it would always just be like, you know, like, buds you'd have to be lucky to see. Like, you'd have to pick them at just the right time. Leaves would go automatically to flowers with the nectar, and then as soon as they were, like, shaked off of, like, a blow hog or something, they would go all the way back to leaves instead of down to buds, and I just really like that they've updated the system, and can you tell I'm stalling? Oh. You know what? It's okay. It's okay that I'm stalling, because there's even more blue Pikmin to pick. More friends to gather for the cause. I'm so scared. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Do you hear that drum in the background? That's how I feel right now. That's the thudding of my heart. I left behind some soldiers over there. I'm gonna get them first. And then I promise I'm gonna stop stalling. I'm gonna attack this Wally Hop. 90 soldiers and one slacker who I had to hop to get. Very, very grateful for you for making that harder for me. Oh my god. Oh, I don't know if I'm ready for this. Oh no. Oh. I did. I... Uh, what? What was that? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Guys. I... I'm at a loss for words. I don't even know what to say. I... I'm completely speechless. That's really funny, though. <laughs> this is definitely going in the video after I after I edit it down some. Oh my god. <laughs> Whew. Running the ID now. Isn't that interesting? This one's not from the task force. Hmm? Mugs from Planet Enohi. Popular for her brave reporting style, she was approached by a director to work on a project about this strange new planet. Oh, so we've got a reporter? Interesting. Huh? Wait just a minute! This face, it's so very familiar. Oh, I know who this is! She's that popular television reporter! I've long been an admirer of her work. Uh, but hold on, what's she doing here? Watch out! So, you're a big fan, Russ. Well, lucky you, Russ. We saved your, uh... We saved one of your idols. I wonder if she has other crew members out here. I bet she does. Like, where's her cameraman? I think at bare minimum she has, like, a camera person, right? Well, either way, that's two more puppy points. And if I can help it, I'm going to apply that towards a buffer Ochi. Ooh. Look at all this loot! That's a really good haul. Okay, let's see what these are called. Maestro of Flavor. Maternal Sculpture. Knew it. Sunseed Berry. False Lollipop? Interesting. 
Planetary Rubber Cutie and Universal Rubber Cutie. Dapper Blob, Octoplus, Trap Lid, Mystery Squish Fish, Spirit Sword, Brush of Foolishness, Monster Teeth, Greed Inducement Device, Mood. Plenty of Nuggets and a couple creatures. All right. Huh. Oh, and we have a Flarlick too? This is gonna be great. Oh my goodness, I'm so ready. <laughs> I'm so ready to have more Pikmin out on the field. And by that I mean, that probably is just gonna lead to more casualties. <laughs> but I'm 100%ing and I'm doing it at whatever rate I find them, so. Here we go, folks. Yeah! The number of Pikmin you can withdraw increased by 10 again. This makes me want to feed that onion even more. All right. <laughs> Did the tides just politely wait for us to come out of the hole to do this? That's really funny. That was a pretty intense in-game day, wasn't it? I guess I'll go ahead and take this opportunity to just gather up a couple other things. Start on this bridge. I mean, those guys won't be bothered by the Skeeter Skates. Hmm. Speaking of whom... Grab my friends. Man, I can't even believe that I forgot I had Idler's Alert yesterday. That was pretty silly. But I mean, it was also a day of me more or less gathering my bearings, trying to figure out what I'm doing. <laughs> Would you believe this one day has been over an hour's worth of recording? That's nuts. I may have to record more later, and then compile it all into a big episode. I just... I don't, I don't know if I have the full stamina, but what I do know is that I want this fish dead. Oh! That's what you do. Alright. Duly noted, attack that fish from behind. And... To make up for my sins, I'm gonna get a couple more blues with it. And yeah, I have enough blues for that. Grab this mock bottom. And why not? Let's clean up the Skeeter Skates as well. Anything else nearby? Oh well, I mean, okay. Very clearly what isn't nearby. Oh. Not interested unless all my Pikmin are loose. Well, too bad. Suffer. Oh! Oh, man. I think it's unsafe to... To get... Oh, no. I'm gonna do it. Grab that. Wait. It says none of my Pikmin are idle, but... Like, none of my Pikmin are gonna die to sunset? Even though I moved the base? Is that... That can't be right. I guess we'll find out. I don't mind learning, you know, for science, but... <gasps> oh! Oh, there's sprouts. Okay, that makes sense. Everybody is safe. And I've got sprouts to pick tomorrow. Very cool. Ah! 
The number of people at camp just keeps growing and it's so cool. That's really validating. It like shows all the proof of the hard work we've been doing. Three more puppy points. I know it's pup drive, but I think puppy point sounds cuter. We've got a metric ton of brand new treasures. I don't think I'm gonna read all of these on camera. I know that, oh my God. And 27% of Serene Shores done. That's so nice. Okay, I'm probably going to take a break and I'm going to be back to continue after we, um, after we do this little check-in. Ochi is a rare breed of dog. Do you happen to know where he was born? His ancestors have lived alongside the Shepherd family for generations. I don't know what planet they're from originally. Oh? But these dogs certainly have the perfect disposition and the right talents for life as a rescue pup. Obviously, I'm talking about their carrying abilities, but they're also strong diggers and have noses made for scent tracking. Combine that with their excellent vision and soft fluffy coats and you've got the perfect partner. Plus, they're so cute! So then the short answer is... no. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Alright, uh... Break time for me. As I hopefully don't scream at the size of just this portion of the recording. Um... We're gonna see what the what's next wheel has to say, because I'm feeling... I am ready for more training. Actually, let's do that first. Oh, good. Let's do it. I want to buffer Ochi. I need to, to buff the pup. 20 Pikmin strength. Oh, and 30 Pikmin strength. Perfect. That's what I need for the watermelon. Excellent. And I don't have any more points. Okay? But I do have more scrummy bones. Fabulous. No. I love that you get rewarded with scrummy bones for training Ochi. That's so cute. It truly is adorable. Okay. With that, I'm going to cut to break. I'm going to spin the wheel and I will let you know what's up next. Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Wheel of What's Next! <laughs> I should really stop saying it like that. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Wheel! Looks like we've got a two-thirds chance of night missions today, and a one-third chance of going back to Serene Shores yet again. Personally, I'm hoping for a night mission to shake things up, but I'm not here to decide that. Here, we let the Wheel choose. Woo! Go up! <laughs> okay, it's gaming scale tree here back and I'm just gonna say I defy the will <laughs> I defy the will of the what's next wheel Because as much as I've loved Serene Shores I've spent already like two hours in the recording there and I don't know about you guys But I'm really antsy to try some night missions like I I just I haven't done them yet And I really want to so, after I get a couple more reds, I'm going to go ahead and talk to Yanni, get to know him a little bit. By the way, I really love the fact that you can just gather some extra Pikmin at camp. I may have said- I might have said that already. Oh my god, look at this p <laughs> a pile of- this pile of leaflings. Yeah, I really need to get on the night mission game. This is- this is getting a little bit desperate. <laughs> Um, but I'm gonna do a very quick survey, because I realized I started talking about my Pikmin opinions, and I never finished. Because I got so overwhelmed <laughs> by the cave that we did. So, after taking a moment to get some water, enjoy a two-bite pumpkin spice cupcake for being a good girl. <laughs> 
Um, I'm gonna do a quick overrun of opinions on other Pikmin types. Yellow Pikmin are great. In Pikmin 1, I didn't like them quite as much, even though I thought very easily they were the cutest. In terms of sheer cuteness factor, I think they still win in my heart. Oh, you know, I haven't talked to the newbies. Okay, wait, no, focus, focus. <laughs> I promise, I, pr I promise I'm focused. Um, I really like how adaptable Yellow Pikmin have been between the games. It's, it's kind of interesting because I have to switch my thinking between the different Pikmin games when it comes to Yellow Pikmin. And while it's kind of annoying, it's also kind of cool. I don't know, they're, they're shaped like friends. Blue Pikmin, I feel like, have gotten less and less use between the original trilogy. But in this game, I'm happy to see that they're being used quite a bit more often so far. That really brings me a lot of relief. I talked a little bit about how underutilized I felt they were in Pikmin 3 earlier, so... You know, there's that. Purple Pikmin are the champions. I love them so much. I'm... I'm... I know that they're in this game. Because they're on the cover art. I need to be reunited with my... With my chunkers. My... My... My Nacho Belgrandes. You know what I mean? Those guys are my favorite. Um, in terms of sheer overpowering utility. But at the same time, I never bring too many of them because I didn't want things to get too easy. Obviously after my first playthrough though. Because I, I let myself play it kind of easy on my first playthroughs. I, I want to get to know the game, you know. I don't want to be frustrated by it. Um, white Pikmin. Fast, efficient. I love that they can spot underground treasures immediately. They're just... They were 110% my favorite utility Pikmin for a long time. Even above winged Pikmin. Sorry, winged Pikmin. Um, so I love whites. Rock Pikmin. I, I gotta say, of all the Pikmin designs, I'm... Not a fan of theirs. I, I don't really like how they don't really have a discernible head. But otherwise, I really enjoy them. I love their utility. I love that they can't be crushed, making Wally Hop encounters a lot easier. Thank goodness. And um, the fact that they can break crystal stuff is a very cool addition that I, th that I thought they brought to Pikmin 3. Also, winged Pikmin. Um, well, they're in a similar boat to purple Pikmin in the fact that I think they're kind of OP. But like... I mean, I can't fault them for being adorable and good at what they do. <laughs> I just... I think the only way I would put them above white Pikmin in terms of sheer utility is if they were a little bit faster. I know they could take shortcuts, but... I don't know, the carrying speed in Pikmin 3 just generally left something to be desired. Either way, I'm looking forward to seeing them and seeing if they've been updated at all for this game. And lastly, Ice Pikmin. I've already talked about them <laughs> in my Pikmin 4 review video so far. And Glow Pikmin, since I haven't used them yet, but I am going to use them shortly, I guess that remains to be seen. So before we get to the night missions, I'm going to talk to our new rescuees. Hello, Mugs. Oh, you know. Don't at all. Ugh. That director! I can't believe I let him drag me out here. We'll film a new project, he says. It'll be amazing, he says. Please, we get here and the spaceship crashes? Seriously. I mean, sure, it'll make for great television. Ugh, oh, but still, even if I wanted to start shooting footage, I don't have a crew. Because my crew is still stranded! Oh boy. Yeah. You're a piece of work, ain't you, honey? Oh, ah, uh, I'm sorry. I went off script there for a second. Wait, aren't you the one who rescued me? I am indeed. It's I, Kip Kip, Lord and Savior. Okay, well, I'm Muggs. You might know me from television. I'm a reporter. Oh, hey, I just had a brilliant idea. Since you have a knack for rescuing folks, could you look for the rest of my TV crew too? You'll be handsomely rewarded. Hmm, okay. Lucky you, I'm going for 100%. No man or woman left behind on this planet, no siree. There she is. you. You're the one who saved me, right? Wow, thank you so much. I'm Sheba from, 
I'm from Alion Academy. I'm here on the Uncharted Planet Tour with my Planetary Science Club. I won tickets in the neighborhood raffle, but... We were about to land and the spaceship went haywire. There was an emergency evacuation and everything. A little while ago, I was reunited with our club advisor, Miss Mika. She looked so tired. Keish and Kaya are still missing. I think she feels responsible. It's so, so awful. Okay, so she's just part of the mission to save the other students, which of course we're still gonna do. We gotta make sure we find all of the little beans. But first, we really gotta do something about this uh, leafling infestation we have got going here because, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it's high time. No more stalling. Yanni, I believe it's time we make ourselves better acquainted. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. I, of course, mean platonically. Come on, guys. Mm. Yeah. Eager to go out on a night expedition, are you? I'm ready when you are. Oh, well, let's chat first. I haven't done this yet. Give me a shout whenever you feel like going out for a night expedition. Colin's great, but believe me, you'll need my expertise when you're out there, lost in the dark. <laughs> oh, you've got a troublemaker vibe, don't ya? If you want to ask me anything about this planet at night, medicine, or whatever, feel free to do so anytime. Well, for now, I want to, uh, potentially die. Let's do this. These areas have been approved for night expeditions. Okay. Oh, so am I going to be on the actual Sunspeckled Terrace map, or is this going to be like a smaller segment? I guess there's only one way to find out. Is there anything more exciting than heading out into the dark of night? <laughs> okay, uh, my bro is a horror fan, and that's 100% canon confirmed. I'm kidding. More, uh, more like, I think this person is definitely an adrenaline junkie. Is that a good thing for a doctor? Well, I'm not here to judge. Sunset's not quite here yet, so you can breathe easy for a bit. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Maybe it's just my television? But my screen's red, yo. Also, the onion just <laughs> fucked off. <laughs> right, okay, yeah. Because we're going to be using Glow Pikmin. Alright, introduce me to the new friends! Let's go! Are those fucking star bits? Those are star bits. Oh. The fact that the bulb orbs are awake. Oh. Good shit. This is already stunning. I'm, I'm already extremely pleased. There it is, new blood. That is a luminol. Ooh, nice name for it. When dawn breaks, it will release an extract I'll use to make that medicine. But if the luminol is destroyed, we won't harvest any extract at all. Okay, so this is a tower defense mission. Got it? All you need to do is protect the luminol until morning. Simple, right? <laughs> oh! Well, well now, what's this? These little guys weren't here before. Let's observe them and see what they do. Ah, so they're like glow Pikmin onions. Look at that, it propagated more. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, new blood? I'm so delighted that Hef was right about, quote, ghost Pikmin, end quote. Cause honestly, just look at them. 
in terms of design, they're very easily like. I mean, they're simple but effective. A, a top quality nine out of ten. Yep, those little guys sure look like a new variety of Pikmin to me. They're kind of glowing, so Glow Pikmin seems like an appropriate name. No Olimar noises? No, no Olimar stuff? I guess not. Probably because he never went out on the planet at night willingly. <coughs> <laughs> They're rather fond of you, New Blood. That's perfect! You and these little guys can protect the Luminol together. No. That star-shaped fragment from earlier. Let's call it a glow pellet. Alright. They're star bits. They're- they're- they're f***ing- They're star bits. I'm probably gonna call them star bits in this entire Let's Play, so if that bothers you, I very much apologize. Try carrying those to the Luminol to see if we can propagate more glow Pikmin. I leave it to you, then. Okay. Oh. The music. Oh, man. Well, I guess I'm just doing this specific luminol tonight. And there are others I can potentially find. Protect that luminol with all you've got. Okay, so... I'm gonna get... Wait. I feel like that went really fast. <gasps> they teleport to you? That's sick! Oh, that's so cool! <laughs> okay, awesome. Awesome, alright. In that case, I uh, don't have to worry about any idlers. Gather the glow Pikmin you need first. Oh! <laughs> it's about that time, new blood. Oh. See how the creatures become more aggressive at night? They're drawn here by that irresistible glow. Watch out now! They'll come for the luminol, so don't let them break it. Ah! They're heading this way! For now, collect glow pellets and propagate more glow Pikmin to pill up your protective forces. The creatures will keep attacking until dawn, so do your best to take them out. Okay, it's up to you, Ochi and Kip Kip. Good luck! Hmm. Alright. So I have a plan. Can I command Ochi? Okay. Protect the luminol, Ochi. I'm going to dismount. And take these guys with me to get more. O Ochi! Bro. Protect the luminol. Don't take your eyes off the luminol. Well, I've got Ochi covering me, buddy. It's okay. He's on patrol. And we've got a little beast over here. Thankfully, still very easy to kill. Oh boy. Oh boy. <gasps> they're just... They're just coming from across the way. Oh. Do their bodies disappear? Interesting. Okay, and also just from the way this timer is going, I'm definitely going to be doing more than just one of these because, oh my god. Yeah, they're... Morning head comes soon enough, can it? Oh, so far, so good. I'm afraid for bigger ball borbs. Ochi?
Oh, that's a good spooky stinger. I like that. That was that was awesome. Think you have enough glow Pikmin? Well, for now it's gonna have to be an Oh my god. Oh boy, come on. That's a second luminol. Uh oh. Ah! Glow pellets can be carried here too. From the looks of it, this could be a juvenile form of luminol. If that's the case, then it's possible this could be connected to the luminol below ground. Oh? Maybe it could serve as an interim drop point when transporting glow pellets from that far away. Additionally, it seems like it could act as a decoy for the creatures to keep the luminol safe. Oh. Okay, so far I'm really enjoying the layers of strategy that we're potentially working with here. Okay, cool. It's small, but it shines quite brightly. Why don't we call it a trick knoll? <laughs> Good thinking. Try using it as a decoy and interim drop point. Okay, but how do I use it as a decoy? Does it just do that by itself? Oh. Oh boy. Ochi got himself into a tussle. That's all right. I'm glad that he's defending the part that I can't do right now. Come on, buddies. Oh boy. Oh. Huh? I'm impressed you defeated all those creatures. I wasn't even sure you'd survive the night. Uh, thanks for your vote of confidence, man. <laughs> <laughs> Here it comes. Pay attention, new blood. Patui. <laughs> um, thank you for the ectoplasmic you know, a word came to mind about what I just thought that looked like, but for the sake of being advertiser-friendly, I'm going to politely abstain. That is a condensed luminal extract. It's very high in degradative enzymes. I believe we should call it glow sap. Okay, that works for me. Bruna. It's a critical ingredient for the leafling cure. Gather it with care, new blood. Gather it. Oh, does it gather automatically then? I'm going to assume it did, because the night just <laughs> ended. Look, the glow Pikmin have come to see you off. Do they want to follow you back to the rescue command post? Oh. My my, what's this? Glow Pikmin turn into seeds? <laughs> I need to study this up close. Please bring some back with you. Alright, I assume that I got those too, off camera. <clears throat> Alright. Well, that was a very... I think that was a very effective tutorial for the night missions. It's interesting that they didn't say that you can send Ochi specifically to protect the Knoll, but it's cool that I found that myself. That's that's really neat. Oh, this is going to be so fun. Oh. Yo. This music, this music folks, I love it. What a fruitful harvest. From one glow sap, I can make exactly one cure. <laughs> okay. 
one guy awaiting cure. And we have six glow seeds, whatever that means. You know, okay, so this is just a hypothesis because obviously I have no idea what those do. But I'm wondering if those glow seeds can be used to have an, a little extra boost of glow Pikmin for the next night expedition. I feel like that makes sense. It like gives you a head start for doing a good job on the last one. I don't know, maybe. So, how was your first venture out onto the planet at night? I had fun! <laughs> good, good. What a surprise, though. You met a whole new kind of Pikmin. And before you rescued me, I'd never seen a glow Pikmin myself. I can only assume the Pikmin took a liking to you, new blood. You two should get as much help from them as you can. You are helping them protect their luminals, after all. Though, I'm not so sure you've got this night expedition thing fully under control just yet. Perhaps I'll go ahead and select the luminals for you to retrieve glow sap from until you are. <laughs> Ahem! I'd like to remind you that you are not allowed to overwork my crew! <laughs> Thank you, Shepard, for uh, being mindful of Union standards. Okay. Are we gonna get to see the leafling be cured, or... Or are they just gonna be populated without, um... <laughs> without leaves? I hope we get to see them be cured, even if it's just, like, a cutaway. Yeah! <laughs> right! Administer the cure at once! Yes, Captain. Woohoo! Dash from p planet Flukui. He's known for saying, You can always find me in the pits. He'll take the leap into any cave, no matter how dangerous it is. Professional Spelunker. Ooh, like that. <laughs> Our work doesn't end here. It's our duty to care for and protect anyone we've rescued and hear what they have to say. You're brimming with pup drive, Ochi! Puff. Is he? Claro. Did I get pup drive from that? Hold on. Bomb. If that's true, then that's insane. <gasps> I think I did. You get pup drive from curing them too? Oh, that's amazing. Keep up the good work, and remember, no slacking! Wow. Okay. Huh. Alright, so... For the record, I am going to do at least one more night mission before I call this epic episode. But, you know, I make it a tradition to always gather up some more Pikmin here, because honestly, why not? I'm pretty sure it works towards one of the, um... I'm pretty sure it works towards one of the quests that I've been given. And... This gives me a little bit of a moment. Ah, oh, there he is! Examining a cave. That's... Attention to detail. Counter number 4017. I'm gonna talk to him in a second. But I had one more, um... I had one more... person who suggested I talk about something. This is Lord Zero asking me to discuss the auto-lock, because... apparently you can't turn it off? Like, if I go to settings... Okay. As you can see, I inverted the controls because I complained about that. <laughs> Lightheartedly, but still nonetheless called it out in my, um... Pikmin 4 Thoughts video. Vertical and horizontal are okay. Motion, yeah. Pebble pitcher, I think that's the player two thing. Oh. You really... Controls. Huh, so you really can't change this? You can't undo? Hmm. 
I think that's really odd and kind of sad. You see, I didn't really mention it in my video because I don't mind kind of using the uh, vanilla controls on my first playthrough unless something really bothered me, like the camera. Thank you again, by the way, everybody who pointed out that I could change it. So I was just like, yeah, I'll, I'll deal with the auto lock and maybe when I do a second playthrough I could turn it off. I like the fact that there is this accessibility option for, you know, younger players, newer players, but I think it should be exactly that, an option. Um, and the fact that it isn't is kind of frustrating. It's kind of the same way I feel about, like, for anybody who's a Pokemon fan watching this, um, the EXP share being unturn offable from Gen 8 on. I think that's incredibly lame. <laughs> like, what if I don't want it on all the time? I don't mind it being a key item. I thought that was a very cool change in X and Y, but I don't know. It feels... I don't think there's a good word for it. I just... I, I don't like it. I like the ability to make the games a little bit harder on myself. I love challenges. Um, and I'm sure I'm going to do challenge runs for other games on this channel. Maybe I'll do one for Pikmin 4 one day, who knows, but obviously I'm gotta <laughs> not gonna get too ahead of myself. But yeah, I think that's a little bit frustrating. Let's talk to Dash, though, before we go into the next night mission. Senore. Wow, I've been drawn to caves for most of my life, but I haven't run into danger like this in a long time. My life's quite precious to me. Thanks for helping. After all, I can only poke around in caves if I'm alive, right? Oh, I should introduce myself. I'm Dash. I've explored all over the universe thanks to my family's deep pockets. Oh, okay, rich boy. And you do have a task. <laughs> the captain warned me that she'd be very angry if I got stranded again, so I can't go explore any caves. Oh, hey! I just had the best idea. Starting right now, I'm going to recognize you as my top... Well, only pupil. This left. I need you to explore all the caves around this planet on my behalf. You'll have to make it through them all the way to the exits. <laughs> I see you've already made your way through several caves. I would expect no less from my star pupil. Thank you. Hey. <laughs> your attitude, the way you take on these caves so enthusiastically. It's like when I first discovered the underground world. All right, four more caves, and then I get 30 more materials. Thank you so much. <gasps> Ooh, okay. I, I know I said I would do another mission, but, uh, lab. <laughs> do you, actually, do you have anything new to say? Do you have anything new to say now? Home? There are two elements to consider when designing a tool that increases physical impact, strength, and number. Okay, this is new. The triple threat focuses on the latter in its design concept. That is to say, more hands equals more punches. <laughs> okay. And you're trying to upsell your triple punch, which I might get, but I think I may need to worry about Ochi first. Um, I usually focus on upgrading my captain, first of all. Rush boots I'm scared to get because they just had me completely overpowering my Pikmin and Pikmin too, so... Uh. I'm gonna get the Brace Boots for myself. And... The Scorch Guard was causing us trouble earlier. Uh, hmm. But I think the Air Armor is a better investment for now. Plus it gives me plenty of materials in case I run into something in the overworld. I kind of like the fact that Ochi is still kind of vulnerable. I want him to have some weaknesses, because even though this is a casual playthrough, I don't want it to be cakewalk easy, you know? Dimale. Come back and see me if there's anything else you need. Will do, sir. All right. I'm so excited for the next night expedition. All right, let's do this. God damn it. <laughs> If I could just... There we go. Well, duly noted, I need the talk prompt to talk to people. 
That's like saying I need a voice to speak to begin with. That's a terrible metaphor. Let's do it. Hey, there you are. Aren't you supposed to be out collecting glow sap? Let's chat. So, did you enjoy your venture out into the first dark of night? The creatures at night can be somewhat startling. I mean, you saw the way their eyes turn red. I feel bad for the luminals. Must be rough always having creatures after them like that. If you want to ask me anything about this planet at night, medicine or whatever, feel free to do so anytime. Let's do it! No. These areas have been approved for night expeditions. Okay. So, I've already completed ancient arches, so I'm assuming I can't get more glow sap from it. But also, I just... Just generally... I want to feel the difficulty gently ramped up. So, rugged scaffold it is. Let's test myself. God, that's such a red sunset. I can't get over it. I also like that the jingle for starting the night expedition is slightly different from the one for going out during the day. I think that's great. Glow Seed 6, okay. <laughs> so there's something else I figured out about the Glow Pikmin. As you can see, Glow Pikmin emit a very powerful light. Okay. You can hold down X to gather your Glow Pikmin until they meld together and form one large glowing ball. Release them all at once and it creates a luminous and literally stunning effect, which I call a Glow Mob. Huh. One flash with that overpowering light, and you will witness all kinds of creatures cowering under its dazzling glow. <laughs> okay, Yanni fans, I understand where you're coming from. Bruh? Dude, we just- we just hung up. <laughs> what do you want from me? Also, can I just say I love how Ochi leans in every time I get a call? That's adorable. I love he. Remember the glow seeds you picked up the other night? I took the liberty of putting them in your pack. Let me show you how to use them. First, select a glow seed from your pack. When you throw it, it will instantly create a glow pikmin. Of course, they'll only work at night or in caves. Oh. So don't forget that. <laughs> hmm. Okay, if I need to redo a mission, I'll use them. I think it's safe. I think it's safer for me to, like, save it. Okay, dismount. Ochi. Guard the luminal. The music here is so unsettling, but I mean that in, like, the best possible way. Hmm. Okay. Very clearly, that's a nice trick, Noel. Creatures are starting to perk up. Better protect the luminal. Okay. Get him! Go, 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 go! Oh, man. All right. Oh, oh boy. Uh, all right. I'm glad they're easing us into this whole thing. So far, still not too difficult, but that is 100% okay with me. That seems like a normal bulb orb. That's fine. Get some more glows. Sorry if my commentary is not particularly inspired right now. I just... I... I'm absorbing what's happening here. This is, this is a lot, but a good a lot, you know? One, two, three, four, five, six. 
Uh oh. The creatures, the trick knoll. Uh, go! Go get him! Track creatures using your night radar. Oh boy. Uh oh. Ochi! Ochi, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, Trick Null destroyed, that's fine. Oh boy. No, 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 no. Ochi? Please protect the Null. Oh boy. <gasps> the way I was clenched at the end. Thankfully, still not too difficult, but whew, these are exhilarating. It's no wonder you guys are all just like, man, you gotta do night expeditions. They're so good. Yeah, I can see why. They are good. Holy shit. Okay, I think I'm going to do one more and then I'm going to call it. Whew. But first, amazing work tonight, as per usual. Yeah! Give me the goop. All right then, new blood, go collect that glow sap. Aye aye? No glow seeds for my efforts? Oh. Well, now I'm sad. Did I did I not do a good enough job? Or do I have glow seeds and they're just not gonna show up until this menu? I don't know if I should be despairing yet or not. <laughs> Man. This music though. I still really like it. I'm if I weren't worried about getting spoiled by the names of OST tracks, I would be downloading this right the f*** now. It's so good. Okay. Increased pup drive. Oh, we got 11 more glow seeds. Okay, so I don't have to despair. I, I did good. I got a, a good grade in glow Pikmin. Something normal to want and possible to achieve. <laughs> Good work! <laughs> Looks like you're getting the hang of these night expeditions. I think you're ready. Next time you venture out, you can go wherever you would like to collect low sap. The search for our pilot starts in earnest now, too. Rescue as many leaflings as you can. Let's cure them all! Copy that! All right, that concludes this emergency meeting. Let's get to it. Okay. Let's do it. Let's save this next guy. Hi, Ochi. Good morning. You just saw me like five minutes ago. Yeah. Yeah. I got a straight three seconds of sleep. It was so restful. All right, administer the cure at once. Yes, Captain. Whee! Okay. General Contractor, Korgwin from Moyama. When it comes to work, he's thorough, fast, reckless, and presumptuous, which also describes his plan to build houses here? Bruh, this planet is full of oxygen. It's poisonous to y'all. I don't know what to say. Our work doesn't end here. It's our duty to care for and protect anyone we've rescued and hear what they have to say. Yes, ma'am. You said that yesterday. Okay. Um, Korgwin would like to speak with you. Korgwin. Dandori battle? 
Yo. Hold the fuck up. Hey, thanks for the sweet rescue. I'm a general contractor over at Moyama Construction. The name's Corgwin. Just like rescuing folks, construction is all about using your imagination and Dandori powers to get the job done. I was thinking you and I could join forces and train for Dandori battles together. Let's get those imaginative juices flowing. You're kidding. Okay. I think I'm going to start my next episode of the series by doing this. Because I'm desperate to do one more night mission. I'm still really pumped off of that. But if this is what I think it is, then that's sick. Sick positive. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Pikmin 4 just keeps trying to outshine itself, and so far it's doing a great job. Oh. Sorry, sir. Oh, all set for now. Well, see you later. I will see you later, sir. I promise. Oh, he waved at me! I'm so happy. Okay, I'm gonna cut until I've um, gathered up a couple more reds, and I will see you all momentarily. Okay, I'm back, but I want to take a second to acknowledge the fact that Pikmin 4 has several different types of real-time strategy categories to its days. Like, it's, it's the unique style of Pikmin RTS for the day missions, which, you know, is to be expected for the series by now. There's the unit-dependent and time unlimited, or more or less unlimited time in caves, which I really like from Pikmin 2, and I'm so glad they brought it back. Dandori, fast time battles to collect as much as you can, so it's like a collect-a-thon RTS thing. And now, with night missions, there's tower defense. I didn't acknowledge that earlier, but I think this is an insane balance and an insane amount of just variety and content and as somebody with roots in game design i just think that is unbelievably cool i'm 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 high key geeking out not not as like <laughs> not like i haven't been this entire video but uh, honestly not like i haven't been on my entire channel <laughs> oh boy but yeah i just wanted to throw that out there because <laughs> This is so good. Eager to go out on a night expedition, are you? I'm ready when you are. Let's do it. These areas have been approved for night expeditions. <gasps> I can do serene shores? You're kidding. Okay, no, no. I want to do them in order. Because I want the danger curve to feel appropriate. Both of these two have been low danger. Now we're going to uh, up the spice level. Hopefully I'll be able to keep up. Let's do this. Okay. Third base here. Hello, glow babies. Sup, y Oh, I was about to say sup, Yanni, but... Sup, Shepard. Come in. Can you hear me, Kip Kip? A while back, I taught Ochi a particular skill used for operations that involve protecting a client. Ah, now you're gonna give me the protect aluminol thing tutorial. <laughs> it's a little late, but I appreciate it, and I'm gonna read your dialogue anyway, because I respect you, ma'am. Select the luminol you want Ochi to protect, then give him the command. Ochi will patrol near the luminal and bite any creatures that come close. During the night expedition, if he gets separated from your squad, he'll go to that spot and patrol it for you. Work with him to protect the luminal. Aye aye. Okay. Very promptly, I'm gonna give him the command again. Come to me, little guys. Let's gather up all the... I, I know they're glow pellets. Let's gather up all the star bits. Because, let's be real, that's exactly what these things are. 
ball borb larvae. No. You're kidding. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I really like that. I like that you can stop those hazards in advance. I think that's very... Oh. Beefcake, ahoy. Okay. Yes, radar in the bottom of my screen. That is very useful. Thank you, sir. Wait. Did those respawn? Well, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth. Um the camera's a little bit slow for this mode. I think you have <gasps> Uh-oh. Please kill this. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go. Oh, boy. Yup. Uh, die. Oh, okay, uh... Trick knoll time, that's good to see. We love having trick knolls around here. Oh no. Um, hmm. Yeah, no. I'm absolutely gonna... worry about the beefcake first. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. They're attacking a trick knoll. That's fine. Let them let let them attack the trick knoll. That's what it's there for. Trick knoll was destroyed again. That's okay. Go for queen and country. Oh boy. Go. Please destroy this thing. Ochi, doing a good job staying at base. These are so short! I'm gonna need to, like, roll back and see how fast these are. Are they only, like, three minutes? Five? This feels real quick. I'm not complaining, but whoa. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm totally rolling that back because good grief. That was fast. Thanks, Yanni. Amazing work tonight, as per usual. Aw, thanks, Colin. We got more ectoplasgoop. Now we can make the cure. Woohoo! Okay. Oh, guys. Mm. I'm so tuckered. In a good way, though. I've I've had a lot of fun recording this episode. I think this is where I'm going to cut it off for now. Because, oh my goodness. <sighs> Creatures defeated, five out of six. Oh, does that mean I'm... Hmm. Does that mean I've passed the area or nah? Well, either way, I think after this conversation, I'm gonna start wrapping things up. Be because I'm definitely reading this. Hello. <clears throat> 
So, hey, this leafling, it kind of looks like Banan, right? <laughs> uh, you think so? <laughs> it's so leafy, I can't really tell one way or another. <laughs> yeah, but the shape of its leafiness, or maybe the overall vibe. I don't know, the way it grows, it looks like him, is all. What is a Bernard-like way of growing? <laughs> the answer I have to that question should probably be reserved for fanfiction, Colin. I don't know. Look, it's just what my gut is telling me, okay? Yarn, cure this one for me tomorrow. Copy that. Roger, 10-4, and so on. I'll begin preparing the medicine right away. Are we getting Bernard? Is that how we're gonna end this episode? <gasps> Show me Bernard! Show me Bernard! Oh my gosh! Please, 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 please show me Bernard. Oh. Something, something. Ochi's tail looks different. He, he has, he has a leaf. It's right there in the corner. It was very briefly shown in that cutscene. Okay. Something to talk about in a moment. F first things first. All right, administer the cure at once. Yes, Captain. Shloop. <gasps> Bernard! Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. We do have Bernard. Yeah! Woohoo! Home planet. I, I am. I assume that's supposed to be Nijo, but I I heard Nijo in my head. <laughs> A veteran pilot who started in the private sector before joining the rescue corps. He's always brimming with optimism. Found all lost rescue officers. Woohoo! We found and cured the pilot Bernard. The rescue corps has been reunited. Show me the cutscene. No bomb. Bernard, I'm pleased to see that you're back on your feet. <laughs> um, are you sure it's okay for you to be up and about already? Play it cool, Dango. Play it cool. I appreciate your concern, Dingo, but I am good to go. It's strange. Uh, since losing my leaves, I feel as light as a feather. Now the next time I get abandoned in a cave, I should be able to escape all on my own. <laughs> what are you trying to say? So he's mad at me for running after all. Oh, nothing. Just a little joke. Good, good. Finally, all the members of the rescue corps are together again. I hereby reinstate our primary mission, the rescue of Captain Olimar. Copy that. Wow, where'd they find a rookie like you? So unique. You must be the secret weapon the captain's been talking about. <laughs> Glad I could tickle you, Bernard. Thank you very much for saving me. Oh, well, you know, yeah, you're welcome. Happy to help. Oh. Excuse me, Captain. This may pertain to the subject of a certain Captain Olimar's whereabouts. I found a logbook entry that caught my interest. Okay. Show me. The last push. At long last, my goal to collect all lost SS Dolphin parts is nearly complete. According to the ship's radar, the remaining pieces are inside a giant structure. My life support system is reaching its limit. One last push now. Wait, could that mean? While searching using our newly restored radar, we received a very strong SOS signal from inside a large structure. It must be coming from Captain Olimar. Um. Commendable work! As always, the rest is up to you, Kip Kip and Ochi. Officers, to your stations, please! Copy that! <laughs> ah, okay, so they are drawing attention to the, um, to the booty. What? Has Ochi's tail always been so green? I can assure you it has not, because I've been in love with the puff. But now we've got a leafy dog. Wild. Okay. Um, 
Well, I'm going to save talking to everybody, including Bernard, the new Dandori battle, and everything for next time, but guys, <laughs> hopefully this hasn't been too all over the place. Like I said, very first time doing something like this, I was super excited to be able to record this and post it on my channel. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this super ultra mega episode to celebrate over 1k subs on Scale Tree. I'm just... You guys are so cool. You know that? Your comments, your support, it's really done absolute wonders for my motivation, and I cannot wait to get this edited and out there for you guys to see and enjoy. So, until next time, everyone, I... <laughs> I hope everybody has a great day. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> yes, she is. There she is. Colin, we've been over this. Please don't, <laughs> don't you dare. Those be- the, the, I, I, I almost combined the words beasts and bitches. Those beasts. It doesn't work. Okay, we're back, everybody. Looks like we're gonna head back to Serene Shores and we're gonna go into a pipe. So, it's a... Oh, oh hush. It's... Excuse me? <laughs> okay, I'm keeping that in as a blooper, probably.